Hello, I'm here to talk about how the achievements of humanity, the experience gained from science for health, and the progress of mankind can so easily be wasted. How is it that we talk so much of innovation, of technology progress, yet we throw away the achievements of humanity and give voice to those that do this and allow them to negatively impact the society? I would like to tell you a story today, a story of my grandmother. Here she is a young girl. From a very young age of 15, she devoted her life to serving as an initia nurse and then an epidemiologist. Already in the late 1950s, she saw the opportunities and benefits that come from vaccinations in the fight against mass epidemics, mass sicknesses. She vaccinated adults and children, knowing that serious diseases like polio or measles can be defeated. And just when it seemed that practically in all corners of the globe, diseases like polio and measles have been entirely eradicated, they are coming back. We ask ourselves, why? First of all, I would like to start with the history of the first successful vaccination. Edward Jenner developed the first successful vaccination against smallpox in 1796. Jenner discovered it by observing milkmaids who were previously infected with cowpox and realized that they did not suffer from smallpox. He tested his theory on an eight-year-old boy who was previously infected with cowpox and gave him a human sore that was infected with smallpox. After his contact with the human sore, Jenner realized that the boy did not suffer from smallpox and discovered that by injecting germs from cowpox into your immune system, your, your body creates antibodies which destroy the vaccines, exactly the germs, exactly how they would do it with the disease. This works like a training activity for your immune system. A key question now is, if humans invented vaccinations to save lives and save citizens from critical diseases, then we should use them. However, in Poland, in 2008, around 3,000 citizens did not vaccinate. And the numbers are rising drastically, as in 2017, about 30,000 citizens did not vaccinate. Well, why would they risk their lives? The risk of getting a serious medical issue due to measles vaccination is one in a thousand, and it is the same with death due to measles vaccination. Moreover, the risk of a serious, death, serious medical issue due to MMR, which is measles, mumps, and rubella, is one in a million. <coughs> and in addition, the risk of death due to MMR is one in 10 million. Well, yes. You could be one of the unlucky ones, however, the chances are extremely small and the chance that you will suffer from the disease if you are not vaccinated are much larger. Already in 2014, a group of tourists walked out of Disney Park in California suffering from measles. And also later in the early 2015, 110 patients were reported suffering from measles. 43% of them were not vaccinated against measles. 12% of them had at least one dose of the measles-containing vaccination, and 45% of them had an undocumented status of vaccination. This event is one of many that determine that it is important to vaccinate, as you are less likely to suffer from the disease. But is it just measles? No. It is countless diseases, one of which is polio. Polio is a disease that paralyzes your nerves causing you to have problems with doing daily activities, such as running, walking, eating, talking, or breathing. Due to the fact that many have luckily not followed the anti-vaccination movement, polio vaccination has saved over 16 million lives from polio. And none of the three types of polio can, can survive for long outside the human body, Therefore, polio is one of not many diseases that can be entirely eradicated. Type 3 polio was already eradicated in 1999, and type 2 polio was last seen worldwide in 2012. It is only type 1 polio we are fighting with in Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Nigeria. The sooner you vaccinate, the better, as many highly contagious diseases spread extremely quickly. If you would stay in a room with someone who had measles, you would have a 90% chance of also suffering from measles. 
The bacteria in measles can stay in the air or on a surface that is not the human body for up to two hours. And also, someone suffering from polio spreads the disease immediately and one to two weeks after having the symptoms. It is highly contagious and spreads when the person suffering from polio um, sneezes or coughs and someone else breathes in the infected air. Polio also spreads through stool. After all, what is the whole point of vaccinating? Vaccinations eradicate serious diseases and save lives. If, if you vaccinate, you are less likely to suffer from the disease. And when you vaccinate, you do not only protect yourself from the disease, but also others. So your movement influences the, your immunity and the herd immunity. If you are worried that you will be one of the unlucky ones that will have side effects, then remember that there is a much smaller chance that you will suffer from the disease if you will be, there is a much larger chance that if you, suff, that if you vaccinate, you will suffer from the disease than if you do not. And if you vaccinate, you can help the future generations not to have to worry about being infected or being affected by the disease. So let's eradicate diseases together and help the future generations. Thank you.